This is getting interesting. Hey guys, this is my review for the second episode of Batman A Telltale Series. Now, originally when I played the first episode, as you see in my first review, I thought it was pretty standard run-of-the-mill until the end when it's revealed that the Waynes actually had some sort of implication in criminal life. However, it's still a little bit vague. This episode totally changes everything and that's one thing that I'll admit that I am actually enjoying the most about this whole series is that we're going in completely uncharted territory not only with Oswald Cobblepot being a completely different character but also the entire history of Batman being changed and therefore it gives me kind of an interesting thought to actually play the game not as Batman would. Like in the first episode when I slammed Falcone through the the rebar and nearly killed him, this episode I nearly choked him to death. And that's the funny thing is, is the whole time you keep on thinking that you, there's some moments where I still believe and act as though Batman would as the Batman that I've learned to basically learned to be from all the comics, all the movies, and all the games previous, but the thing that I keep on realizing is this is can, this can be a different Batman. There's one point where in the game where you actually have to go and confront Mayor Hill, and you could have done it as Bruce Wayne, or you could have done it as Batman. I went with Batman mainly because for two reasons. One, it would be way more cooler, and two, I knew it would be a hell of a lot faster. Either way though, you're actually pushing Gordon to the point where he actually is not liking you. And the funny thing is, at one point when I was, uh, when at the very end of the game, of the episode, where Cobblepot has taken over control of the debate, and, <laughs> and people start dying, Selena's like, what are we gonna do? And there was an option that said, no one dies tonight, or it's gonna get messy. And he's like, I chose it, it's gonna get messy. And he says, there's gonna be a lot of innocents that will die in the path to, <laughs> to taking down these criminals. There's something along that line. I'm like, that's not what Batman would say. But that's the thing that this series is actually doing that's pretty extraordinary, is that we get to play as Batman the way we want to. We feel like killing people, there's probably going to be a moment where we can kill someone. If they take this in the direction that it should go, we're probably going to kill someone. Or get the option to at least. And I know I probably will. Just because this is an interesting different, this is a different version of Batman. I like to see it go this way. I broke that guy's arm. I stabbed Frank Falcone on the rebar. I choked him to death. I said people were going to die. The only thing that I didn't do was I didn't kiss Catwoman, which was a little odd because I thought that was a bit going back to Batman ways, but I'm pretty sure that that relationship is going to keep on going. Also, I saved Harvey because I knew Catwoman could take care of herself even though she gets shot in the shoulder with a fucking shotgun. I knew I, Harvey's not going to be able to defend himself against a giant light bulb, so that's why I saved him. In the end, though, I'm very, I was very entertained with episode two. Admittedly, there was a few moments that kind of eh, went off in a different direction that I was kind of a little bit bored, but every moment was good. Again, the tech-wise of these episodes is pretty really good. The only glitch delay there was was actually in what's going to happen next, and that was kind of interesting. Otherwise, I still really liked episode two of Batman Telltale series, and I'm going to give it a six out of seven. I think this was a very good episode. It really hooked me in. Very funny because... It reminds me of The Walking Dead, the first season anyways, where the second episode, in my opinion, was the best episode of the five episodes that were given for that game. So we'll see if this one is the same. Anyway guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.